your host, Crazy Chris Hudson, and I'll be with you for the next 24 hours watching the best and the worst that the B-Movie Maniacs have picked for you this year. Up first is the 1980s Italian classic, Demons, about a group of people that, I don't know, I haven't seen the movie in 30 years, so I don't want, quite know how to explain it to you, but chances are you've seen it already. But join us to watch it together. Yeah! Wow, that was a great way to kick off the marathon, don't you agree? Up next is Glenn Danzig's magnum opus, Death Rider in the House of Vampires. I know a lot of people have been excited to watch this one, including me. So let's forget about everything Danzig's done in the 80s, 90s, and up till today. This is where his career begins with Death Rider, Death Rider in the House of Vampires. Folks, hope you enjoyed Death Rider in the House of Vampires on the 12th annual B Movie 24 Hour B Movie Marathon. I forget what even event this is. Anyway, up next is, uh, let me check my notes Angel of Destruction. Now, this is a Mike pick, and I don't know anything about it, but Mike says it's going to win the entire marathon. So, why don't you take a gander and let us know what you think? Chat below, and uh, I don't know, we've got a chat room somewhere, so say hi! Well, what did everyone think of that last movie? Mike picked it to win the marathon? Let us know in the chat. Up next is Boarding House. Now, I have it on good authority from Paul A. Brooks that this is the first horror movie ever shot on video. Now, I don't reckon I know much about that, but let's watch it and find out together, I guess. Ah. All right, we're just gonna let it go. Ladies and gentlemen, up next is, I'm gonna have to check my notes on this because I wasn't given enough time to memorize my lines, but it's, oh, the incredible melting man to kick off the late night block, ladies and gentlemen. Now, internally, we refer to this as the late night shitter block, but that's just between you and me. So let's watch the incredible melting man. Don't give a crap what it's about because everyone's asleep anyway. Next, I know you people out there in television land like them boobs, right? Because that's apparently Mike likes them too. And so his next pick is uh, the late night, the LNS block, is Deadly Weapons. Deadly Weapons. I'm sure he's talking about breasts with Deadly Weapons. through the LNS block tonight, folks. And uh, the next pick is, oh, it looks like one of mine. It's uh, Abducted by the Daleks. And uh, the script says, Chris will let you handle this one. So, um, Abducted by the Daleks, exterminate. It's the LNS block. My pick is up next. It's the abomination. It's this wild shot on video movie. I hope you're awake for it. Chris, wake up. Hey there, everyone. Watch the 24 hour B movie marathon. This is the 12th edition. Welcome back. And now it's time for the barnyard block. And it's time for corn, mother shuckers. This is about, well, it's corn time. Bark. Bark. 
Well, get me up there, maniacs. Up oh, next is a uh, talking pony in the barnyard block. No, Chris, oh. Chris, Chris. It's not a talking pony, it's a talking pony? It's, wait, wait, a talking pony? Like a question. A talking pony. Not, not question. a talking pony, but a talking. Like an excited question. Say it like it's an excited oh, question. Oh, oh, it's a talking pony? Nay! Well, we're halfway through the barnyard block, folks, and up next is Will Wheaton in The Curse. Starring Nicolas Cage in a remake of The Color Out of Space, the classic HP Lovecraft. Wait, what? Oh, oh, it stars Will Wheaton, not Nicolas Cage, but it's still The Color Out of Space, so. Yeehaw and giddy up again! Ugh. Well, thank you, Will Wheaton, for that last movie. You're no Nicolas Cage, but who really is? Up next is the final movie in the Barnyard Block, The Pig Keeper's Daughter, which I did a review of several years ago, like 12 or 15 or 30 years ago when I was a wee little tyke on the barnyard for The Pig Keeper's Daughter. So here we go. Take it away, B. Talking about The Pig Keeper's Daughter. Pig Keeper's Daughter. No, not me yet. Oh, we got some gospel porn music. <laughs> Damn, this is the most awkward sex scene I've ever seen. <laughs> Weird angle. Oh. <laughs> Paul, I do believe they're <laughs> Explosion! <laughs> My piglets shall rule the world. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Sweet smelling man sauce. That's how Gollum took his underwear off during Lord of the Rings. He had motion capture underwear. He just slid it off. <laughs> Look at my precious, my precious. You think I'm your clothing. <laughs> I have never French kissed a girl like that. Is that normal? Baby. Baby. some other dude <clears throat> pregnant I get pregnant and then he fucked some pig farmers daughters he nailed the pig farmers wife and now there are cops I mean what are these pig farmers daughters like underage John Candy here Ed Norton I don't know pig farmers arresting the salesman for screwing the pig farmers daughter in a bathtub in pig slop doing whatever and their wives involved the sloppy farmer himself I'm nasty penis Plus explosions equals Michael Bay. So see goddamn Transformers 3. Talk about the big keeper's daughter, huh? Ah, that's a good one. Now we're moving on to the home stretch of the 12th annual B Movie Marathon. Up next, we got a real treat for you. This is where all the good movies happen. So if you've been sticking around with us this long, here's where it all starts to make sense. So up next is Night of the Comet, a 1980s movie that I haven't seen in, boy, I don't know, 50 years. <sighs> I don't know 
how to tell you, I don't know how to say this 12th annual B-Movie Marathon viewers, but up next is another Mike pick called Baby Cat. Now he says this is going to win the marathon, but another one of his picks also already won the marathon. And, and, and you can't, you cannot have two winners of the marathon. So Mike needs to make up his fucking mind. Either way, I, um, I, don't, I don't give a shit about Baby Cat, but we're gonna watch it anyway. Um, B-Movie Marathon. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. I don't even know what to say about that last movie. But the next movie is excellent as we get Alex Winter and Freaked. It's a, it's a me pick. I picked this one. You're welcome. He started with like a motorcycle. Bring, 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 Okay, there is no Neil Breen in this marathon, but you guys like motorcycles and the motorcycle noise? Well, it's all Neil. Bring, 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 bring. Well, it's actually George A. Romero and Knight Riders, a movie about motorcycles and David Hasselhoff or something. I don't know. I've never seen Knight Riders. I can only assume it's related to. David Hasselhoff somehow, but it's a mic. No, it's not a mic pick. It's a Paul pick, and it it finishes out the marathon. So we made it, everyone! Yeehaw! How'd you like to cut there? I can't do this without my hat, but my hat is like my, anyway, yeah. Oh, hello, B-Movie Maniacs. You made it this long, and this is the last, that was the last movie of the marathon. 12 long years, and the B-Movie Maniacs are still going strong. But we've got a special treat for you. We've got our Hall of Fame pick tonight. One more movie that Paul Brooks is going to introduce. So, let's give it away for Paul Brooks and the Hall of Fame Marathon. Yeah! Thank you, Chris. And may I take this opportunity to say what a great job you have done this year hosting the marathon. May I? Thank you. Chris, you've done a fine job this year. You followed, I would say, roughly 10, maybe 12% of the script that I wrote for you, which is actually pretty impressive. So thank you for that. Your fellow maniacs, thank you. Everyone in the chat room thanks you. The public at large thanks you. Folks, I am thrilled to be here tonight to announce my pick for the 2024 B-Movie Mania Hall of Fame. What exactly makes a B-Movie worthy of this distinct honor? The truth is, sometimes greatness goes unrecognized. In the gauntlet that is the 24-hour B-Movie Marathon, it's nearly impossible to watch every film every year, let alone remember all of them. Sure, if it's the first slot on Friday or maybe a great Saturday night spot, it should be smooth sailing. But a lot of marathon movies just aren't that lucky. Tonight, we present a film that literally flew under the radar a handful of years back. In the days when we were all drinking heavily and sucking down jello shots like there was no tomorrow, Saturday morning movies often were ignored. Sadly, most of the time we were all sleeping or shitting, or sometimes both. But now, it's finally time to give Insecticidal some good buzz. Originally selected by Jason Hulse, Insecticidal played during our bug block at the fourth annual 
24-hour B-movie marathon at 10 a.m. Not exactly prime time. Released on DVD in 2005, this is a film that features a swarm of creepy crawlies and a bevy of beautiful babes. So thank you, Jay, and thank you to director Jeffrey Scott Lando for hatching this excellent exoskeletal flick, Insecticidal. It's our official inductee into the 2024 B-Movie Mania Hall of Fame. And now everybody, get ready for blood, boobs, and bugs.